Hello everyone and welcome to soundproofguide.com. Today in this video I will talk to you about some cheap soundproofing hacks that you can do at home right away that will get you results in having a quieter home. Now you're probably saying something along the lines of soundproofing your home sounds like an awfully expensive project. Well if you hire a contractor to soundproof your home, yes, but if you use the cheap soundproofing hacks we are about to provide you, then no. So let's begin with number one, a big bookcase. If you aren't a fan of reading, there are other ways a bookcase can be of use. If there's a particularly thin wall in your home that freely lets noise in and out, add mass to the wall by placing a big bookshelf against it. The more books you add to the bookcase, the thicker its mass and its soundproofing effectiveness. For this hack to be wholly effective, make sure the bookcase covers the wall completely. If possible, there should be no spaces at the sides, the top, or under the shelf. This way, sound vibrations will be unable to sneak around the bookcase. Number 2. More mass with heavy furniture. Your couch and similar heavy furniture will impede sound from traveling around the room. The more furniture in the room, the less sound can get around. But to implement this hack and get the results, you have to know the strategic locations to install your heavy furniture. For instance, leaving the furniture in the center of the room is pointless. Instead, place your heavy furniture against the wall to add mass to them. Then place your other furniture in front or beside windows and doors where they can absorb any noise vibrations that try to get through those portals. Number 3. Decorate your walls. Another way to add mass to your walls and minimize how much sound vibration can get through them is by hanging canvas paintings, tapestries, and pictures on the walls. The heavier and thicker such decorative pieces are, the more effective they will be at minimizing how much sound can be transmitted through the walls. Just a quick pause, if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to my channel. And also, ask any questions that you may have about soundproofing in the comment section below. I promise I will respond. And now, back to our video. Number 4. Soundproof the air. Okay, the concept of soundproofing the air understandably sounds weird, but it actually works and is surprisingly easy to accomplish. All you need to do is make some noise of your own specifically white noise. To cancel out any noise from outside that has managed to make its way into your room, simply put on some white noise to drown it out. It's basically like fighting fire with fire. This soundproofing hack works best if it's implemented in a closed room that has already been soundproofed to some extent. This way the white noise at reasonable volume will be able to drown out whatever muffled sound still manages to seep into the room. Some of your best options for white noise machines are the Marpak Dome from Amazon. I'll have the links in the description below. Number 5. Heavy Carpets or Blankets Heavy carpeting is excellent because it makes the floor of your home really comfy to walk and even lie on. Carpet also has the added advantage of being able to absorb sound. For example, if you install a carpet on the floors from wall to wall, it will absorb much of the sound in that room and stop it from escaping to an adjoining room. Admittedly, it may be difficult convincing your noisy neighbors upstairs or in the next room to install thick carpets, but you can take the decision out of their hands by installing carpeting on your walls and your ceiling. This will effectively muffle any sound being transmitted through the walls. To make the installation of carpeting more effective, install thick padding under the carpet. If you find installing carpets on the wall of a room to be too expensive, you'll be happy to know that old blankets will also serve. Hang your old blankets on the wall you are sharing with a noisy neighbor and you'll significantly minimize sound vibrations from getting through. Another important thing to note is heavy moving blankets are most ideal for this hack. The thicker and denser the blankets are, the better. You can install them by nailing or gluing them, or hanging them on curtain rods over the wall you are trying to soundproof. Also, heavy moving blankets are much cheaper than actual soundproofing blankets. I'll also have a link of the most cost-effective moving blankets from Amazon in the description below. 
Number six, shut the door. Sounds so simple, but there's more to it. Think of sound like cold. It's much easier for cold air to enter into a room when a door is wide open. But when the door is closed, penetration is reduced. The thicker your door is, the more effective it will be at keeping out sound. This is why it's typically advised to opt for a door with a solid core. But even if your door is solid, there are probably still gaps around it that sound just like cold can seep in through. One particular gap that sound uses to get around the door is the gap underneath the door. A gap exists between the door and floor to ensure the door can be opened and closed smoothly without being dragged across the floor. To block sound from getting in through this gap, you can block it with a thick rug. Alternatively, you can block the gap with a draft stopper. Installing a draft stopper is affordable and easy and a great alternative if you don't have an extra rug or carpeting lying around to clog under your door. Aside from blocking the gap under your door to keep out sound, there's more you can do to your door to make it more soundproof. For instance, by tactically positioning soft furniture in front of the edges of the door, some sound that gets past the door will get absorbed by the furniture. Also, because sound is basically vibrations, a fair amount of it can still penetrate a room by going through the door and not just around it. This is even more likely if the door doesn't have a solid core. Fortunately, you don't have to spend money replacing your door with a solid core one. To make the door more soundproof, simply hang a thick blanket on it. The blanket will absorb the sound vibration and stop them from getting into the room. If hanging a blanket seems impractical or simply unattractive to you, there is the option of simply hanging your coats on the door. The thick fabrics of the coat will absorb the vibration just as effectively as placing a blanket. Number 7. Shut the windows. Burglars and sound love getting in through doors just as much as they love getting in through windows. To keep burglars and sound out, all you need to do is keep your windows shut. But like solid core doors are more effective at keeping sound out, double or triple pane windows are also more effective than single pane windows. But upgrading to double or triple pane windows can be pretty expensive, so instead of changing windows, close them, then cover them up with heavy curtains. The thick fabric of the curtains will absorb much of the sound vibration that gets in through the closed window glass. And if you've got a little more money to spend, then you may consider installing safety film or glazing sheets over the glass of your windows. Cost-effective glazing sheets can be installed with ease and quickly to insulate your windows against external temperatures and sound. Lastly, like doors, sound can still find its way through cracks and gaps around our windows. This can significantly minimize sound blocking effects of keeping windows shut. To fix this, seal the cracks or gaps around your windows with weather strippings or acoustical caulk. But bear in mind that compared to weather stripping, acoustical caulk is a more permanent and long lasting solution. Number 8. Soundproofing Wallpaper Soundproof wallpaper are not like regular wallpaper. For one, they are far thicker and denser than regular wallpaper which makes them super effective at minimizing sound penetration. But like regular wallpaper, they are available in a wide variety of colors and design. Soundproofing wallpaper are available as acoustic panels or slippery latex that covers with regular wallpaper. Either option is effective at dampening sound. So if the idea of hanging blankets or carpeting on your wall seems extreme, then you'll definitely prefer the subtle hack of soundproofing wallpaper. Which leads into number 9, soundproofing paint. This is a soundproofing hack that is gaining traction among an increasing number of homeowners that want to spend as little time as possible for a quieter home. The composition of sound reduction paint, which makes it heavy and imbues it with the ability to absorb sound vibrations, makes it a very effective soundproofing hack. While a lot goes into making soundproofing paint, its biggest component is probably the ceramic additive in it. Sound deadening paint is also non-toxic and fully safe to use on your walls and ceilings. And finally, number 10, do egg cartons work? Well, now that you've heard our hacks, let's talk about one you've probably heard of elsewhere but whose effectiveness seems doubtful. I'm talking about egg crates. 
You've probably heard of the legend of how egg crates, minus the eggs of course, can be used to soundproof a room. If you're wondering if this is true, the answer is more of a maybe than a yes. Because of its design and feel, egg crates may remind you of the panels or foam used to coat recording studios. The difference in egg crates are far lighter and far less dense than actual acoustical panel. Because of its lack of sufficient density, egg crates are actually not much good as soundproofing but they aren't completely useless either. Because of the uneven surface of the egg cartons, sound will have a little bit more difficulty bouncing off it as opposed to having nothing on the wall at all. So if you tactically install egg cartons in sensitive parts of a home, this will help significantly minimize sound echo and reverberations within the room. So which of the soundproofing hacks should you use? For best results, you should combine as many of the soundproofing hacks as you can. Fortunately, a number of these hacks are inexpensive and or even free and can be implemented either at home or at work. If combining all or several of the soundproofing hacks in this video still doesn't deliver the level of quiet you desire, then check out our website at soundproofguide.com and also check out other videos on our YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. And also let us know in the comment section below what you've used to soundproof your home. Would you call it a hack? And if you have other cool soundproofing hack ideas that are cheap that you could suggest for our next soundproofing hack video, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, goodbye.